The old king is dead. Long live the new king. I got some old school Warhammer terrain here, but that printer behind me is printing some new school miniatures. I'm gonna take a little bit of this stuff and make something really cool. My name is Troy, this is Facility D20, where we're always making cool stuff. One Page Rules reached out to me to take a look at their new Saurian models. And these things were so cool that I was just instantly inspired to make this diorama you see here. This priest guy in particular, this guy just stood out to me and I had this concept of him emerging from the jungle and I thought it was the perfect miniature to go about this project. Yep, this is the main right here. These things are pre-supported, but I also like to go in and add a few of my own supports. I like to throw a few heavies on the bottom just to help anchor it to the print bed. Here are my settings if you guys want to take a look at it. And this thing is going to run about six hours. For this print, I'm going to be rocking the Yusu iForm 181 resin. I've used the iForm 182 resin a lot in the past with a lot of success, so I'm really excited to use this stuff, and I'll be sure to let you know what I think of it. Loaded it in the printer and started printing. Next, I made a 5x5 five five inch block of foam. Using Blender, I modeled up this diorama base, sliced it in Ultimaker Akira. This thing was going to run 11 hours. Used some Duramic 3D filament and got to printing. Then painted it black. Our mini is done. It's been hanging like nuts in there for the past 24 hours. Let's get out of there and see how it turned out. Overall, this was a good print, but the bottom part of the staff didn't print at all. But I figured I'd make it into a scepter. I popped it out of there and was a little bit too rough with the pre-supports and cracked the top of it off. This is what happens when you leave your alcohol solution out too long and the sun gets at it and all the resin particles cure. I only got one bottle of alcohol left. I don't have enough to fill this up, so I'm going to use this butter tub and I'm going to clean it the old fashioned way. That's it. Sometimes you got to be resourceful when you're 3D printing, that's for sure. Quick little rinse of alcohol. Three minutes under the UV light. Then I cleaned and fixed this mini. Overall, this new resin was really nice. It printed sharp, crisp lines, and I was really happy with it. So I definitely recommend it if you're looking for some nice resin. I went ahead and glued the top part of the staff back on and stuck them to a temporary base. Pretty nice print, I must say. Next up, I had to prime them and let it dry. And while that guy was drying, it was time to go ahead and paint the trees. I just painted directly to the plastic here like a madman. This dry brush really made these leaves pop. I actually used two coats of this earth shade wash here on the brown bits. Again, directly to that plastic. Then a nice little dry brush to make some of those colors pop out again. Then 
there are times when you just gotta give credit where credit is due, and this is one of those times because these GW trees are a classic kit that's been around forever and I really enjoy putting them together. I think they're gonna look absolutely amazing along the beachfront in this diorama. And I can't wait to make them part of this whole scene. It's gonna be really cool. So back to the mini, I ended up priming him gray. For the skin tones on our new King here, I'm going to use the Army Painter Air set and their new Triad color system. This is a pretty cool set that my wife got me for Christmas. I've been liking it. We're going to start off with some purples, and then we're going to fade that into some blues, and maybe around the stomach area we're going to do some bones. And if all goes well, maybe a little shading and glazing here, just trying to tie these colors together a little bit. I'm excited to start it. We'll see where it goes from there. Maybe some golds, maybe some silvers in the details. Who knows? But Hey, that's the fun part about painting. Sometimes you just gotta jump into it and see what happens. Yep, I go ahead and mix everything with Windex. Thin down my paints and then load them into my paintbrush. I use the base color to lay down a nice foundation for this guy. Then I use the mid-tone and a downward angle just to make some highlights. And then finally I went in with the high and just spot highlighted up some of the very tops and high parts of this mini. And you can see it really brings it to life. Next up, I repeated the process with the blue, but this time I just stuck to the backs and the scales on this guy's legs and arms. For the stomach, I just used two coats here, the mid-tone, Bit on the tail, followed by the light tone. Now this wash was very much watered down. Then I started to work on all the leather bits, laid down a base of earth, followed by a couple of washes. Earth shade here, and then sapia. Picked out all the gold details and washed them in sapia as well. Then I went in with the high color from the Armor Painter Blue set and just touched all these little scales for extra highlight, got lazy, and used some contrast paints for the feathers. But I did go in with a high color and do some horizontal highlighting. The broken staff was just driving me nuts, so I went ahead and I printed off just the staff. And I was able to do this because one page rules, in addition to doing the complete pre-supported mini, also breaks it up into all its components. So you can do things like kit bash, or in my case, fix a broken model. I'm going to go ahead, get it out of there, and get the little remaining bits and pieces on that mini. So I went ahead and added the feather, the bottom part of the staff, and this little piece of leather bit that attaches to his waist. Here we go, here's the old head. Guys, if you wanna see this mini or any other one page rules minis, I got the information linked in the description. I actually loved how bright and vibrant this guy turned out. Next up, it was time to work on that diorama. I used my hot foam cutter here to carve out the beachfront. 
If you guys are enjoying this video, or you like sci-fi or fantasy dioramas and miniatures and just making cool stuff, go ahead and join the facility by smashing that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here because we're always making cool stuff. Fit like a glove and I glued these trees in place. This is some pre-flocked hobby bark that my wife got me for Christmas as well. And I used some spackling compound to make the ground and stick the trees in as well as that bark. A little bit of old twine for some vines. Painted in the sandy beach. And painted in the muddy ground. This was the Arts and Minds hobby kit that I got, and this was full of really cool stuff. Mixed up some glue, and then it was time to add the jungle floor. Then I glued it right into the base. And I used a little bit of Mod Podge to seal up this seam here. Because I didn't want any water effects to leak down through. Now the fun part, I took the Vallejo water effects and mixed in one tawny drop of Magic Blue. But that one drop proved to be way too much. And I was not happy with it because I couldn't see through it. Dumped it out and started over. This time I was a lot happier with it. Took the lighter to it to pop any bubbles. Then I set this aside for two days to dry. Then I added some gloss finished Mod Podge and used my airbrush to make some waves. And I set this aside for another day to dry. Then I stapled on some white on the tops of these wave fronts. And then I added the new king. So I sort of stumbled into this idea here of the new king. It kind of represents 3D printing taking over from Games Workshop in terms of popularity and price. And I thought it was just a fun idea. Overall, again, I'm really happy with this diorama and I think it turned out really cool, really bright and vibrant. Don't forget to check out one page rules, guys.
I want to give a huge thank you to all my Patreons, past, present, and future. You guys rock. You're really helping me take this channel to new heights. And if anybody wants to check out my Patreon, I'll link it below. I've also got some really cool videos on my channel. I've got them linked here. Stick around and check them out.